Okay, so we are here back in Blender, and we have our avatar um, here. Now, I forgot which 90 we rotated, so I'm just going to press file and then revert it and have it back facing the way it's supposed to be. I know that's kind of a cheat, but eh, whatever, it works. So, um, now that we have our avatar back here and it's rotated back to where it is, I'm going to go to a new layer, which are these little squares down here. Oh, I'm also going to turn on my screencast so you can see what I'm doing. And we're going to import our clothes from Marvelous Designer. So what I want to do is go to File, Import, and then OBJ. And I want to do the t-shirts and pants, the, the original one. And you see it's rotated the wrong direction. But that's fine. We'll flip it in a second. We're going to hold down Shift and select our avatar. Click on our garment. And we're going to press RZ90. Here we go. So RZ90. And you see it snaps right onto place where it's supposed to be. Prob no problem. Now you may see some skin poking out. We can just correct that real quick. We're just going to go into Sculpt. And I like to do for quick little things like this. You know, a little inflate. Oh gosh. Did that have a bad thing? Actually, I did a very bad thing by making these pants black. Makes it very difficult to see anything. Uh, so I'm going to click on this, go into pants, and we're not going to have black pants. We're going to have, we don't want gray pants because the avatar is gray. So we're going to have whatever color that is, burnt orange. Alright, so press tab, and we can click on dot pants, and we can just pull it out, turn the soft edit on. Okay. Good. There we go. Uh, inflate usually works too, so I just inflate it as well. All right. So now we have our avatar here. Kind of reminds me of goofy colors here. It's time to attach our clothes to the skeleton. So what we need to do is go into object mode and make sure you are in object mode. That is very important. So you're here. You're in object mode. We're going to click on the garment first. You're going to hold down shift, then click on the um, skeleton. So this, and then those. If you find that these are too small to grab, we can um, actually just click on, click on the bones and go into, uh, I guess, click on Avastar. Oh, so they took that out. Well, <laughs> before it used to let you do it, even if the uh, armature wasn't um, arm of a star. Well, we don't need it. We just click on your skeleton, go over to the right side of your screen, click on the little man, and you can change it from stick to octahedral or in bone or envelope, whichever makes it easier for you to click on. I say this one, octahedral is the bright one so you click on your garment hold down shift click on your bones which is those little triangle people there then you're going to press control p and then you're going to say automatic weights and then you know you click on the bones again go into pose mode and then you press r and you can rotate it and you see that yeah it's rigged to the skeleton but it's not rigged pretty so we are going to um, copy the weights from the body to the garment and make it function a lot better. Now I'm using Avastar, not Avastar, I'm using Blender 2.72. I love 2.72's uh, weight transfer and it's really fast and geared towards new users unlike everything else above 2.72 which is a little bit more complicated so if you find that you are running into a wall and it doesn't look like what I'm doing you may want to try 2.72 out it's kind of fun alright so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna transfer the weights from the body to our garment so what we want to do is click on the garment first always click on the, the template or whatever has the good weights first then you hold down shift and you select the garment and you go into the bottom where it says object mode and you click here and you switch it from object mode 
to weight paint mode and if you did it right your garment will turn blue if the template or whatever you're transferring the weights from turns blue then you have it selected in the wrong order so you want to click it body or good weights first garment bed weights second so once we have that selected we're going to go over to the tools panel and sometimes it may be closed you have to click it and open it up where it says weight tools you want to open that and you're just going to scroll down to where it says transfer weights and you see it got transferred so now when we click on the body and we move it moves a lot better so we'll try moving it this way this way that way try moving the legs and we got a little bit of stickiness happening but I'll show you how to take care of that so don't worry about it and we got the same thing legs stickiness so I'm gonna I moved our skeleton pretty wild here now if you want to reset your skeleton just uh, press click on uh, the bones you can press a and select them all and you could just press alt R and that will reset your bones now if you just want one bone reset instead of the whole shebang you just click on the bone that you want to reset and then press alt R that way and then you can reset it without resetting the whole uh, you know model okay so what are we going to tackle next we're going to talk about stickiness because sticky is not good sticky weights is when you have your transferring weights or your copying weights from something um they're too close together and it projects outward to whatever was there in this case her thighs were so close together that her right thigh was sending data to the left thigh when it shouldn't and that's what causes stuff like that and i heard someone say once that if it was it's because it's triangles it's interests uh that this happens the most in i've worked on quads and that same thing happens sticky just happens <laughs> it's just easy to fix it rather than to blame and say what causes it so um what we're going to do is we are going to click on the bone here and you can see it's all like bony all right so we click on the bone and we want to paint the um change the weights now i guess i can talk about weight painting in this but we're reaching a 10 minute mark so i guess i can be a quick fast as I can all right so weight painting no matter what template you use you will always have to do some manual weight painting and what weight painting is is a visual uh, blenders visual of the weight data the redder a bone is over a garment the more control it has over the garment the blue Ooh, excuse me the bluer it is the less control it has over a garment think of it as infrared temperature or um, cartoons when it goes from being super ice cold and things are blue and then it suddenly heats up and it goes from being blue to red it's the same concept the hotter a bone is the more control that bone has over your garment the colder the bone is the less control it has and blender does the visualization of that with blue to red so it's basically blue is the coldest then it goes into green then yellow and orange and then red so that's pretty much what you have to do with that um red is one and blue is zero and everything in between <laughs> is the colors in between so um with that explanation we can dive in and start painting because it's really simple so what i want to do is i want to mask off the area I'm working at. So I'm just going to press this little face masking button down here at the bottom of our screen and that breaks it all down into its faces. I'm going to click on the face that I want to paint directly on like so. This is the one and as you see it goes over here to this leg but the weights from this leg are pulling it over so that's why it's stretching whenever this bone is moved so we want to remove its influence from it by turning the weight down to zero and making it cold and then running our brush over it you see it lost the control it had over it so now when we move it it's not moving so we're just basically going to go up the leg and do the same thing removing the weights now if you need to make it bigger it's cool just make the brush bigger um, I like to keep the strength always at one uh, and then adjust the weights I don't think there's a point in turning the strength down and then the weights down it's just pointless to me 
So I'm going to stretch this leg up as far as I can and then chill down any offensive things. So I'm just going to freeze this, freeze that, and do the same thing here. Now sometimes it may look like it's not even moving. Now, oh yeah, forgot. Uh, when you're in masking mode, you can't just click on a bone and then switch bones like that. You'll have to press the M key and then click on the bone and then press M again and that opens up the mask. So since we're on this leg, we want to chill down any influence this has because it's the wrong leg. Alright. And then we're going to click on this part of the garment because it belongs to that leg. And we're just going to turn the heat up and melt it back over here to the side. See what we did there? So we're just going to bounce back and forth doing that chilling things and then heating them back. And now you see, it's not sticky anymore. If it's still pointing in that direction, then that means there's still some weights from there. So, see. The fun thing about this, about weight painting, is it pretty much troubleshoots itself. Uh, their triangles, it's supposed to be against them, so be square. So, um, and if it points out, it will always point in a direction towards what has influence over it. That's how I always see it. So, you see that this part of the lake has influence over here. So, when we pull it, it's like... Trying to cling and stay over here to this bunk. It's like, no, master, you. I want to be with you. So you have to press M and smack it. And I'm like, no, you belong over here. And <laughs> do the same thing on this side. Remove all this influence, and then it converts and goes back to its right side. So now, when we move it, you see there is no stickiness. Now, of course, the crotch is out here, um, and we can just either. Uh, use the balloon or use grab and fill it in like that or something like so um, whatever <laughs> and we can fix that or we can play with the weights or we could just forget it and then just use alphas and let that be that so if you move your leg and it is moving the way you think it looks right then you're done or you can play with the weights or try to manipulate it either or it is up to you so, um, that is it for weight painting, uh, well, crash course in weight painting. Um, we have one more part of the do left and one more thing left to do here in Blender, and that is to separate our garment and then remove the unused vertex piece, and then after that we can import it. So, I'll see you in the next video because guess what? We're almost done.